Hunger is an issue in Washington, and State Representative Marcus Riccelli says the need could be better met in schools. There's too many students that do need it and too many students that are falling through the cracks. That's why he introduced House Bill 1238, which would provide breakfast and lunch to all requesting students without charge. Right now, I'm outside Concord Elementary School in Seattle, which is one of the more than 40 schools that already does receive free meals for all of the kids, but this could soon be the case for all schools in Washington? That's correct. Uh, the bill that I've introduced uh, really is looking to feed all kids, take feeding kids off the table. In Concord Elementary is just one of the 40 schools in the Seattle School District who qualify for all students to have free meals. In Everett, 18 of their 27 schools qualify, but Representative Riccelli believes all kids should have access to free nutritious food at school. Regardless of the zip code a child is born in, they deserve to uh, the opportunity to thrive and live a healthy life. The Everett Public School Superintendent said in a statement, we would love to see this legislation pass because anytime we can guarantee healthy meals for our students, it is a good thing. What a wonderful service to be able to provide for every student with the nutrition they need to be ready to learn. Seattle Public School said it supports free meals for all students as well. Richelli also hopes this reduces the stigma and shame some students feel for receiving free lunch. The idea that they would be segregated from other students because uh, they're just trying to get a nutritious meal so they can stay healthy is ridiculous. This initiative does come with a $90 million per year price tag. The state would still receive federal money for qualifying students, but the state would be paying for the remaining funding. In comparison to the whole education budget, which is in the billions, um, I think this is one of the best things we can do to make sure all kids can thrive. Now the bill is headed to an appropriations committee before it can head to the floor for a vote. If it does pass into law, the free meals for all students would start this fall.